Hey y'all, it's Trey, and uh, today's episode, I'm going to be learning how to make a charcuterie board, and I'm super excited about it. It's uh, cheeses and, and making a board with cheese on it, or something, I don't know, something. What What is it? Honestly, what is it? We gonna open up the truck door, turn it up loud, get you in the headlights, spin you around, ain't nothing like a hero man, some girl. Let's do a little dirt road dancing. Um, yeah, charcuterie board. I'm not really sure what it is. I know it has to do with cheeses because somebody told me. But, yeah, I mean, I think it's, uh, you know, putting cheeses on a board and making them look pretty. Trey, so yeah. good to meet you. Good to meet you, I'm too. I'm so excited to show you how to do yeah, this. This yeah. is what I do for a living. My name is Courtney. I'm the Nashville Cheese Gal. That's my business name. I've been making cheese boards for 15 years. What have we got going on here? I what actually is... wanted to ask you what you think we've got going on here. Well... If you could try to identify at least one of the cheeses on this plate, just wild guess. I, I could not tell you. I'm gonna say <laughs> lumberjack, or uh, pepper jack. Brie. Okay. There's a double and a triple cream brie. Okay. Easy to eat, always delicious, always a crowd pleaser, really good. Uh, aged Gouda. I've heard of that. I've heard of that. It's good stuff. It's got some good really yummy cracker. crystals in it. Really good, good on, on a cracker. cracker. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is called Port Salute. Never heard of that one. It's delicious. It's yeah, it has an orange uh, uh, wash rind on it. It's beautiful. Some dill Havarti okay. and goat Gouda. That's what we're working goat with today. Goat Gouda. Goat Gouda. Yeah. Why would? Why do you not have like Velveeta? And what is that? Marinated olives. Yeah, olives were are part of the thing, and I just ugh, olives. I don't like them. That looks like rabbit shit. <laughs> Never have. Why don't you choose just two. two cheeses, and I want you to put it on here, but and then I could use, use more if you if, wanted to. If you know what, if you feel I don't want to. I'm just saying, is there know. is there a, a what's the word? Is there a cap on how many cheeses are allowed on a cheese board? Not at all. I, so I've made a 16 foot cheese board. Wow. Before. So she kind of threw me to the wolves a little bit and wanted me to make my own plate, which I've done before. I know how to make a plate, but I don't know. I think there's a difference in saying, "Hey, Trey." get what you want versus make it look pretty, you know, because that's that's where the disconnect was for me. You're doing great though. I mean, you chose a few Ooh. and... Good blackberry. Damn, they are good. <laughs> yeah, that looks good to me. Look at that. I love it. Okay, so think of this as a layering process. Okay. Let's do cheese first. I where want you to take that port salute and I want you to just kind of set it. It's good. It smells great. Those cheeses smelled so good. We're gonna take some of the spree and... Can I smell that one? Yep, go for it. I guess I've never taken the time to smell cheese, but it smelled really good. This is one way to make your cheese board look really beautiful. It's to slice up your hard cheeses. Mm -hmm. Also, tip, if you're throwing a dinner party, you're having people over, whatever. If you cut your hard cheeses first, people are more likely to dig in. There's just something intimidating about a big block of hard cheese. Especially that one. Like I would never cut that. That would be one. a big one, yeah. That would never be one we I would We probably don't say, have room. Yeah, let me cut into mm -hmm. that cheese. We're gonna make salami pretty by making a salami rose. Really simple. This also makes it easy on your guest. Pick up, eat, one bite, but it also looks really pretty. So you fold it in half like this, and then you're gonna fold it a half again. And it kind of makes this beautiful little rose. That? There you go, yeah. There you go, and see, if you put a bunch of them together, a salami rose. It's a song, song somewhere. Title. Yeah, there's yeah. a song somewhere. So we're gonna take some of these raspberries. I mean, if you were to look at this and you're like, wow, this area needs a pop of red, <laughs> where would you where would you say this I board? Mean, like I feel like a raspberry should go there. You know, I would say on top of that white cheese. Y you know, that's actually so okay. Good job. Mm. See? There's hair in that one. Oh well. Are you sure? Looks like it. Looks like fuzz. Mm -mm. Uh, I think it's part of a... I don't know. I don't know. There, there. Looks like a piece of lint. Who knows? It's not my hair. Now, last step. This is what really makes the board come to life, I think. I add fresh herbs. Whether mm. it's rosemary or mint, it smells good, it looks gorgeous. So myself. I'm just going to, let's do this right here. Actually. It does smell good. It smell great. But it just adds, 
getting lost in the Dang. smell over there. It's pretty good. Trey, you did this. No, I mean, what is it it, how does it feel? It feels feel great. Proud of yourself. I've never. Yeah, this is the most uh, fancy thing I think I've ever accomplished. Well, it's beautiful. You did great. Great listener. Thank you. I'm gonna have to take a picture. Oh, please do. Tag me. Yes. Heck yeah. That's part of the beauty of this is it's Instagrammable. Look at that. The bite. This is the web. Mm. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh gosh, I've been waiting to drizzle some honey. Look at that. Mm. Mm-hmm. Gr- 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 grizzle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's pretty damn good. Woo! It's that good. really is good. Uh-huh. I'm not even saying that because it came mm-hmm. real. Mm-hmm. That's good.